<laughs> hello, hello. Welcome to another Mac 84 live stream. My name is Steve, and that's that's my name. So, uh, thank you for everybody who's joining us. We've got eight people here already. Uh, we got uh, Anonymous Freak, we got Raw Elements, we got Tech and Music, we got Techno Rat. Hello. Who else do we got here? We've got Tom Tom Computing. And I think that's it for now. So cool. <laughs> one of the double owners of an SC30, but only one works. Well, that's okay. Uh, I am lucky to have my first SE30 here, although it is currently in really not working condition. So this this is uh, an SE30 that uh, I received. Now I have to correct myself because last night in my delirium, uh, early morning, however you want to say it, uh, I miscredited the very, very kind, awesome individual who uh, worked out a trade with me. I said his name was Jordan. That's not his name. His name is Brandon. I don't know how I got those mixed up. Sorry, Brandon. But I got a message from him this, this morning saying, so my name's Jordan now? And I'm like, ah, crap. <laughs> I make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. But anyway, uh, to recap what we were doing last stream uh, is I got this SE30 board uh, from Brandon. And it uh, really didn't work, you know. The screen came on, and I was surprised it actually got that far. But there are no caps on the board. Uh, the caps are already removed. Uh, and Brandon was telling me that, um, you know, when he got it, uh, it was it was already in a pretty nasty state. And uh, to, to wish me the best of luck. So we're going to continue working on this now. Um, this is a 1988 revision SE30 by the looks of it. Uh, I have not owned an SE30 before. I have a few SEs, but not an SE30. So if I could fix this up, that will be great. I'll have an SE30, and that's very exciting. Um, Brandon also sent me some other things. Um, he sent me some boards to do some repair work on, so that's part of this trade. Um, and so I don't know if I'll get to those in this stream, maybe the later half, or maybe uh, I'll do uh, another stream uh, over the weekend, or, or actually took some time off, so maybe Monday. I don't know. But anyway, let's take a look at this. And... Uh, Zombie Geek 33 hello. I keep calling everybody by their usernames, and that's because I am terrible with names, as you just learned when I, you know, called Brandon Jordan. So that's just how I am. Sorry. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, let me know what you find out there. That, that'll that be uh, interesting to know which ones work, so... Let me make some space here. And let me just adjust everything so I have my windows in the right spot. So I have a screen behind me. That's why I look over here sometimes. Uh, that tells me like the stats, how the connection's doing, how many people are watching, all that stuff. <laughs> Unsound. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, well, so what we were doing last time is we were essentially cleaning up areas of this board. We didn't put any caps on them yet. Um, but what we're going to do here is I'm going to I'm going to go to the microscope view here and we're going to switch on over. Again with the printer. Ooh, good luck, buddy. That's that's a shame. Uh, if I need any parts, I'll let you know. <laughs> All right. So, we are back in action here with the SE30. Now, what I'm going to do is try and make this a little larger on my side so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Maybe that'll work. I really need, like, another screen on this thing, but... Oh, well. Okay, so, we have our SE30 board here. I believe last time we were looking at uh, this section. Let's try and find it here. Oh, there's one of them. That's, that's not the section we were looking at, but yeah, here we go. So we did some work here, and you can see that one of these pads is much nicer than the other. Uh, and then if we go by the power connector here, well, the, the main computer connector here, we see a few things. We see that there's a uh, blob of uh, solder just sitting in the deep end of that connector there. And let's see if we could, we could focus on that a little bit. Now, what I see through the through the microscope is not exactly what you see through the camera, but you could see that there. And then here, if you tuned in at the very beginning of the stream last time, these were unrecognizable. Now these are shiny. Uh, they're still not done yet, and there's still some work that has to be done of cleaning those up, but the pads are actually shiny now, which is miraculous. 
So, yay! How about that? How about that? I mean, yeah, the, the, the capacitor juice is just extremely corrosive. And it, it, it you know, it does weird stuff like that. That's why you, you don't leave corrosive stuff there. But uh, thank you for the encouragement. I hope I can save it. So thank you, Hot Rod. All right. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm actually going to look at, I'm going to turn the soldering iron on, and I'm actually going to look back at this one here. Uh, this is... Uh, C7. Let's see if we can clean up this one a little bit. Now, this one is, of course, right next to this chip, which looked a, a horrible last time we looked at it. And now it's, it's not, not as bad. Not as bad. So. Yeah, I mean, what's what's funny about this is is uh, I turned it on and I got a, a gray screen with a cursor. Um, it would have probably tried to boot if I let it. But... Uh, yeah, so. Oh, boy. That stinks about the 2SI. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, I was surprised I had anything, especially since there were, there were no capacitors besides the, the axial ones on the board and any of the tiny ones that you don't have to worry about. So. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I mean that that's uh, that's the thing. I was talking to somebody on Twitter and they said, "Oh, my SC30 looks looks good, but I don't know what's wrong with it." And I, I posted a picture of uh, I, I fixed up uh, the Macintosh Librarian's SC30. I sent that back to her, and hers looked fine. But you took off the caps, and there was there was tons of, of, of gunk in there. Some of the traces were damaged. So recapping that board wasn't going to help it unless the traces were fixed as well. So it's just one of those things where it could look fine. I mean, you put anything in a dishwasher, it'll look shiny. But the real problem is underneath the caps. So, ah, video toaster. Ooh, you lucky devil. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. I have a, um, not a video toaster. It is a, um, oh, what's the name of that company? Radius, um, what is it? A video, video studio. And it's a Nubus uh, video capture card. Not as probably nice or as fancy as the video toaster, but still very cool. Well, there there are schematics available for some of these, but they were mostly reverse engineered by a company. So they're not officially from Apple or anything like that. And there are mistakes in them, so. <laughs> yeah, I bet it is. All right, so let's let's get into this now. Um, I'm going to try and clean this area, and uh, let me just adjust the camera a little bit. There, so you sort of get the same angle I am, and we're gonna put a bunch of flux on here, and just try and, and clean that a little bit. Hopefully everybody's doing good today. I mean, for me, it's a Friday, so that's that's a very good thing. And I need to find the little fan that I had. Because uh, this smoke is not good to breathe in. So what I'm trying to do is heat this pad up and just remove any of that gunk there. And it's going to take a little bit. And you have to be careful because you don't want to remove anything. But, uh, you know, I, I don't think I've ever watched a Rossman video. I, I, I know that's shocking to a lot of people. I just, I don't think I ever have. I might have seen a clip. I've never seen a full video. I'm not saying I'm not a fan or anything. I, I just... I hear a lot about them, good things and bad things. I just, one of those things that you go through life and you're like, oh no, I never watched that. I was watching a stream you made last year about a Windows PC. What was the other PC you never showed? That's a good question. 
what was the other PC I didn't show? <laughs> if I didn't show it, I don't know what it is. I mean, I have I have a lot of PCs, not a lot, but uh, you know, a dozen or so. Uh, if it was an old one, it was probably like a an, a compact or uh, a Dell tower or something like that. Probably what it was. Yes, here I go again. I just can't be stopped. Hello, Tobias. And raw elements. What is that? Why do the Thai book hinges die? Please share thy wisdom to the court so it may please us so. I have not had anything to drink, I promise. <laughs> that would make for an interesting stream. Or not. <laughs> Sorry, so let's see. Let's see how that how that works. Okay. I am running very low on my little ninety one percent alcohol bottle here. It is at this level very sparing with it. I do have some 70%. I know that's not the best. Not for electronics anyway. Look at the green on the side of that chip too. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of junk PCs. Now I do have a PC for games. So, you know, no shame in using it for games or anything at that matter. I don't care. The computer's a computer as far as I'm concerned. I prefer to do work on a Mac. That's just me. But, I mean, what, use whatever the heck you want. I don't care. Hello, Oz Retro Cop. Good morning, evening, afternoon to you as well. It is a Friday evening here, just off of work hours. Nice, thankfully. So, nice bit of a relaxing going on. And I thought, what could be more relaxing than scrubbing goo and scunge all that good stuff. All for this SE30 board. Now, I might not spend the whole time on this board. Because I have some other stuff to look at too. But Yeah, the, the prices for Mac stuff, is even the, the vintage stuff, is getting a little crazy. It keeps it gets like crazier every month. It's going to like hit a plateau and everyone's going to be like, I'm not paying that for a Mac Classic. And then they'll hopefully return to normal prices again. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? The hinge mechanism is glued to the inner display assembly, and after time, the glue quits being sticky and pushes all the way against the frail metal part, which snaps. Oh. Um, it is scarce enough where I haven't seen it in stores. I talked to the clerk at a local pharmacy inside of a bigger grocery store just this past, sometime this past week, and they said they do get it. But uh, they don't usually have a lot of it. So it's probably one of those things you have to go there when the store opens. And if they have it, they have it. If not, nope. Out of luck. So I just refuse to pay the, the crazy prices online for it. Yeah, people, people are getting a little crazy. They see this old Mac stuff. They don't have the keyboard. They don't have the mouse. It's untested. Steve Jobs didn't, didn't lick it or anything. And they want... Upwards of $500, $1,000, $10,000, $15,000 for something that is probably tested and junk because they, they can't get the stupid thing to work and they just say, oh, well, this, this stuff is worth money. Somebody will buy it. I was like, no, that's no thank you. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's like the layer of a bad cake. Sort of sawed into that probably shouldn't have but <laughs> no I don't know that Steve Jobs didn't lick it I'm making an assumption that that makes an ass out of me and you but I think that's a pretty safe assumption I don't think he was in the habit of licking things that looks that looks a little better already still got to clean it up but better than I did before Exactly. I've, I've bought a few things 
that were untested and they have worked. I bought a, a Tangerine Clamshell iBook that was untested, but I messaged the guy. I said, look, I don't have the power cord. I can't test it. I'm selling it for X amount. And I made a deal with him. I think I got it for like $60. I think booted up just fine. Didn't have a problem at all. But anything that uses like a standard power connector, I'm very skeptical of. Because like Bruce said in the, the Mac Eck, uh show on Thursday, just yesterday, he said, you know, you're, you're saying you haven't tested something that used the same power plug as your coffee maker or your tea kettle. You know, how, how do you not test it? It's just laziness or you don't want to plug it in because you know it doesn't work. You know. I mean, and, and that's, that's it's an unfortunate because you get a lot of people. This, this is going to turn into Steve rants while recapping, by the way. Not that I think anybody here would have a problem with that. But um, you get these people that sell these these computers. And, and yes, there is a market for them because they're fun to work on. And people like them. I mean, I like them. I enjoy playing around with them. But I'm not going to spend $1,000 on some old piece of plastic that doesn't work. And, you know, people... This, there's this guy, this infamous guy on eBay. I'm not going to name his name. Everyone knows who he is, I'm talking about. But this guy, like, sold one of these Mac Classics, these Mac Color Classics... I forget the price, but it was at least a thousand dollars, maybe two thousand, something like that, something around there. And the thing wasn't even recapped. And of course, the 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 buyer posted on one of these Facebook groups and goes, "Yeah, I'm having this problem with this one I just bought." And it's like, "Yeah, it's not recapped." <laughs> I mean, here's someone who who knows, who knows that these machines suffer from these issues. And is just ripping off people. I mean, how do, how do you have a conscience like that? I mean, that's just that's just nasty. I mean, yeah, sure, it it may work. You know, if if I were to sell something like that, I mean, if this is just me, I'd say, you know what, it's it's needs some love. Uh, and here's what I want to get for it. But don't mislead somebody. I'm not saying he did, but I don't know. It's just. It's, it's not hard to get these machines recapped. I mean, if you know someone like me or someone who's crazy enough that's going to sit down and do this stuff, I mean, yeah, to get a microscope and stuff, it costs a lot, but for a lot of these machines, you don't need that. You, know, you just need a steady hand, a good pair of eyes, and a $15 soldering pencil on Amazon, you get to work. Yeah, there's a lot of PC stuff, especially near me, there's some stuff. And, um, uh, thank you, Jay, for that link, by the way. Uh, there's a lot of PC stuff, uh, locally here. This guy, uh, is a recycler, and he has these DOS PCs that, uh, I think they're Pentium 1s. And he wants 100 bucks for them. Now, I don't think he's moved many of them, and I'm sure if somebody went, look, I'll give you 75 bucks for him, he'd probably say sold, because he probably got them for free or dirt cheap. But, you know, that's, that's one thing. That's all right, whatever, you know. But maybe it's just me. I'm just probably too cheap for this stuff. Because I, I just... Not, I sound like a broken record, but... I, um... I used to be... The type of person that would go to yard sales and stuff. And nobody wanted Apple stuff. It was just everywhere. Not everywhere. I mean, it wasn't as... It, you couldn't find it as much as the, as the PC stuff at all. So when you found it, it was like, oh wow, something Mac related. But it wasn't expensive. It was usually cheaper because nobody knew what the heck it was. Or nobody wanted it. It was either one of those things. You know, or if they knew what it was, it was too expensive for me and I didn't buy it, but. I mean, hunting is half the fun, so. So I'm just going on a rant here, but. <laughs> yeah, you guessed it. All right, let's, uh, let's try heating this up again. Yeah, hunting deals is the funnest part. It's almost like, you know, after I pick up the thing, it's like, okay, well, what could I find next? It's a, it's a disease, I'm sure. My wife would agree with me, I'm sure. <laughs> Love you, honey. Oh, I can just taste that capacitor leakage. Ugh. Oh, I need more flux on there. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Yeah, I think I paid 150 for a broken um, Macintosh TV. 
but I knew it was broken and the guy included a bunch of other stuff with it. I got an MDD out of it and some other goodies, so it wasn't it wasn't totally bad. But, you know, I knew what I was getting myself into. Yes, get that off. Get it off. Macintosh TV, yes. Now the board is totally shot, and so is the the TV tuner card, unfortunately, because it's proprietary to that system. But uh, I do have it. The case and the keyboard and the mouse. That's basically the reason why I got it. I said, you know, I could put a LC board in there if I wanted to. And in fact, the Macintosh TV board stinks anyway because it's it only have a maximum of eight megs of memory. It's it's quite. Uh, by design, it's not exactly the best machine, but the case is beautiful on it. The TV tuner, there's a special card. So there's, there's the, I'll have to look at the board, but I think there's, there was a, another communication slot in addition to the standard PDS slot on that. I, I believe so. I, I could be wrong. It's been a while since I looked at it. I've done I've done it on a I've shown it on a live stream before, and it's been in the background of a few of my videos, like my iMac G3 video, which a lot of you I, I bet have seen. Uh, it was on that one. Oh yeah, get all that scunge out of there! Come on. I mean, it'll it'll use one of the standard, um, you know, LC uh, all-in-one boards. It'll use them, but you you can't just like plug a TV tuner card into one of those. I mean, if you had a compatible video input card, which was, you know, used in one of those slots, sure. But the Apple Macintosh TV one, I don't think uh, goes in that one. This soldering iron is getting toasty. There we go. Look how much crud we got off there. Look how much crud we got off of there. Uh, no. So the the I'll, I I don't know where the logic board is actually. Uh, it is it is hard. I mean, if I could fix that, I'd I'd give myself a medal. I don't think I don't think there's really much I could do with that. But um, I will say that uh, I I didn't touch it yet. It's been sitting. I think it's in a box and that side that side of the basement maybe i'll go looking for it so what i might do here is like take a break for for dinner or something and just come back but yeah that's that's not too bad now yeah? i heard about that tech and music that is uh, sounding a lot like uh, some of the machines i tried to repair so i wish you the best of luck on that because that's not fun Mm, mm, mm. Who wants soup? Mac 84's patented stu soup stock taken from the freshest of capacitors. S simmered in uh, sugar and molasses. Look at that. Mm, mm. Yuck. <laughs> 250 for an Apple design keyboard. If that was the case, I wouldn't have to work anymore. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yes, it is very satisfying to do this. So I'm glad that, that you guys are in, having some satisfaction as well by watching me clean this stuff off. Now, these these parts are very, very stuck on. I, I don't know what. I mean, it might be plastic. It might be capacitor gunk. Might be old, old solder, old metal, but it is not really budging here. So I'm just, I'm just gonna repeat the process. I'm just gonna keep trying to clean it up. 
Yeah, that's the thing with with the the plus and the 128k and the 512k. If you don't get the keyboard or the mouse with it, I mean the mouse you get an Apple II mouse or something, but if you don't get the uh, the keyboard with it, no deal. It's a bad deal. That's what I was looking for at that eWaste place. Of course, the one person who worked there got the only keyboard, and I was like, ah, oh, no. But whatever. They, it's their their place. They can do whatever they want. There we go. Come on. Yeah. Woohoo. Konnichiwa. Or if it's late there, come banwa. Uh, I have a Mac Plus. I don't know if it has a sticker on it. You mean like an upgraded one? <laughs> Smash that like button, as Bruce would say. Here we got uh, three likes, but 15 viewers. That that does not compute. Eh, hit the like button if you like. See what I did there? If you like. <laughs> yeah, it's not, we're not getting any better with our jokes here. You know, the... the the G3 and G4 machines have always been great machines because you could do so much with them. You could run the classic Mac OS. You could run early versions of OS X. You know, there's, there's a lot you could do with them. Ah. That was in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I've, re I've also read that some of the ED models um, can just have a generic plus case with, with no branding on the front. So I, I don't know how true that is, but... All right, let's let's try and attack this one now. All the solder went to the other side of the tip. Come on. I want the ball to be on the board, not on the tip. But I can see some of that crap coming away. A little bit. This isn't even at a high temperature, but this iron is getting hot. The little, little rubber I'm touching is getting a little too uncomfortable to hold. problem when you're so zoomed in you you hit your iron on the tip of things that you forget or right next to it <laughs> it is a little bit of both we are we are this is Jurassic Park here we're looking for bones dinosaur bones yes the I will be using the wick again just trying to see exactly what we're working with here. Yeah, see, now that it's hot, sometimes it just scrapes right off. Sometimes. Not all the time. It's definitely a multi-try approach with these things.
Yeah, don't jinx it. <laughs> they might as well at this point. I hope it will. Just getting all this crap off of these areas too helps. Just I mean this this board is gonna need a deep bath anyway. <laughs> And those snips you uh, recommended, Jay? These uh, snippy snip snips? Well, this is better. Thank you. They seem to work quite well. I've only been snipping, uh, you know, wick off and little things like that. But thank you for the suggestion. I haven't tried the other pair yet. But uh, I will. Games are just getting bigger and bigger these days. Jeez. I remember when like a gigabyte or two download was like, oh my gosh. I mean, now I guess with no optical discs or anything, you're you're at uh, the mercy of how, how optimized these people want to make their games because it's not the limitations there used to be on, on optical media and, and you know console stuff. Oh, come on. It's a very difficult position. Let me let me try and let me try and move this a little bit closer to me. Yeah, because I I feel like I'm reaching a little too much. That's it's straining my neck too. Just not fun. There we go. <laughs> Don't breathe this. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to go grab um, a little fan I have to make sure I don't breathe this. So I'll be right back. Um, let's see. How do I do that? See if I can put this up. All right. I will be right back. Let's see if I can find that little fan so I don't breathe in some horrible things.
I am back. I am back. Now, uh, what I have to do really quick, uh, is that the plug? Yeah. Plug this in here. Hello, Trina. Our fan plugged in. Awesome. So what I have to do briefly is uh, I have to just run up and grab something to eat because I'm hungry. Uh, and food is hot, so I'm not going to let it wait. Um, what I will do is uh, leave the stream running. I'll leave it about 20 minutes or so. won't be too long. I'll put a text thing up, uh, and I'll be right back. I promise. But um, what I will do is change this. Oops. Let's see. What time is it now? 6.20. Let's say uh, be back at... Let's just put seven. It's not going to be that long, but just in case. Because I just got to go run up. And uh, yes, let me let me see what I could do. So you're not completely bored. Let me think. What what could I do? Ah, I know what I could do. Hold on, just one second. I was thinking of that. I had to find the power cord for it. There it is. Whoa! <laughs> Sparks came out of that power cord. Ouch. Ouch. That that singed me. Alright, so let's let's see if we could we could load up something here. Yes, I, I am aware there's no sound. Yes, I know I was mooning you guys. It, just for old time's sake. I used to do that every day. By accident. By accident. I think that's the one. That should be the one. Right? Which cable is this? There's too many HDMI cables on my desk. There we go. There we go. Alright, sorry to, to leave some of you here, but what I'm going to do is, is start up some entertainment. I'm going to go eat and I'll be right back, I promise. Okay, so let's see if we can make this work.
don't think it wants to work for me. Well, that froze. <laughs> this is that is the uh, power computing uh, power center pro 180 it froze up there but um, hold on I'll, I'll get it back <laughs> oh you will be edutained don't you worry We'll, we'll try just to, even if I had to put on the test mode, because it wasn't going in the full mode. Even if it's just on the test mode, that'll entertain you for, for, for a little bit. And uh, go have a snack or something, and I'll, I'll join you right back.
are back now. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Let's uh, get everything fixed here. And we are back in business. So, sorry about leaving you right there. When the food is warm, I eat. And uh, we're going to be here for a bit anyway. We've still got 12 people watching, so thank you very much. So, I got my little fan here. That's why I ran upstairs to originally get, and I found out dinner was ready. So I got my fan here. Move my keyboard out of the way. Okay. So, yes, the, the Star Wars screen entertainment is something I had as a kid. Uh, we had the floppy disks. I don't know if we bought it or we got a copy of it or what. I love it. It's just a bunch of screensavers. It's great. Um, for some reason, it doesn't like to work 100%. That clone computer is a little picky. Most of the time it works. Sometimes it doesn't. But uh, it'll freeze once in a while. I don't know if it's a driver conflict or what. But anyway, back to this uh, lovely little machine here. So I, I hope that was a nice palate cleanser for you. A nice little break. It was a good break for me too. And this is just a casual Friday stream. And you know what? I, I stop and start when I feel like it. If I need another break, I will. But uh, you know, you guys are probably not going to sit in front of your machine the whole time anyway. So uh, everyone gets a little break. So. All right, so this is where we were before. We were trying to get all the, the crud off of this one here. And so let's let's just try again. Just keep trying. And we're going to try and get uh, this crud off of that board here. And sorry for those of you who had to jump off. That's okay. You can catch the replay if you want. But uh, I appreciate you sticking by, even if it's only for a few minutes. I cannot hold this uh, copper steady. What is wrong with me? It helped a little bit. There's still quite a bit of crap on there. We'll, we'll keep at it. Let's try with the, uh, the scalpel. So Trina, you did not miss much actually in the first part of the video. I was just talking about this board and that my friend Brandon sent it to me in an attempt and an exchange, a little like a trade, I guess you could say. And uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, end up keeping this board. It doesn't work. So this is a board I'm keeping, but in exchange, I have some of his Macs that I have to, to get working again. But uh, I, w I was just curious because I, I just fixed an SE30 for the Macintosh librarian. And I just fixed her SE30, so I thought, you know what, while that's still fairly fresh in my mind, let's take a look at this. And then I, you know, I started cleaning it, and uh, that was yesterday. We went off for about two hours. But uh, today, we're just going to continue that, and we might switch to something else if we get stuck and we don't make as much progress. But um, that is really the story here. So there's, there's a lot of incentive here for me to fix up this once working Macintosh SE and uh, try and go from there. So I hope, I hope you feel like you're all caught up now. You missed too much, not too much excitement. I put up a screensaver, I had a bite to eat. Hope you guys are doing okay today. 
whether it's an evening, a morning, an afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Hope everything's okay with you. Hope you're staying safe. <laughs> Thank you for the recap of the recap. <laughs> oh, I love corny stuff like that. That's hilarious in my book. Hilarious. Where did I put my tweezers? How about that? That's not funny. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I do have the little fan here now, so at least uh, I won't be breathing in as many fumes. You could probably hear it a little bit. So if you can, sorry, but it's for my own health. I need to be able to breathe good. Spent the whole day doing nothing and loving it. That sounds like a fantastic day. Be much of my tomorrow, I'm sure. Okay, so helped a little bit. Is this is just going to be a process of just going back and forth and back and forth? I feel so. <laughs> that fan is actually rattling the uh, wood that I have this on, which is just kind of funny. So it was like a burr noise. You know, let me let me the fan just. There we go. I actually have to thank my wife for this fan because she got one for her office. This little thing right here. And uh, she thought it was only one. It came with two. As it, as it is vibrating around on the desk here has a mind of its own. <laughs> it's okay. Stay in one spot, please. Maybe. All right. You don't want to? That's fine. It's <laughs> shuffling around on the desk. If you could see it, you could almost see in the camera here. I'm pointing to it right now. Slowly give it a nudge. There it goes. Whee! Ever so slightly moving. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh boy. Hope you guys are having as much fun as I am. I like to have fun. I like to have fun here, mess around with old computers, with an audience. It's boring doing this stuff alone, so thank you guys for for all of your support, of your likes, your subscriptions. All uh, If you're on social media, if you ever share my links or my videos or anything like that, that's always cool. Or if you just watch here and uh, go eat dinner or something. I mean, that's what I love to do when uh, when Bruce streams or uh, any, any of my other people I follow on YouTube. If they do a stream or they do a video. I love just uh, sitting back, having a snack, and watching. Yes, this this microscope is beautiful. Uh, and uh, my only regret is that I did not get the right model at first. So that cost me that cost me as at least uh, seventy five dollars to ship all this stuff back because I had to ship the old one back. Um, so yeah, that that kind of stung. But you know what? It's a long term investment type thing. I made the mistake in the first place. My fault, really. But the um, moral of the story is to just double check. Their website wasn't the best, so it was sort of hard to determine. The The whole difference, not big difference, but the, the difference between the scopes and why I had to return it is because this headpiece here as a, let's just switch real quick. Let's switch here. Hi, Nick. Enjoy your dinner. So let me just explain here. So we have a microscope here, and we have two viewports. So that's a stereo view, which is very important. I can see the depth of things. And then we have the camera on the top. So the old microscope uh, had a switch. It actually had a little lever. And that lever is actually covered up by this sticker here, because there is none on here, but there's still a hole for it. And that little lever you would push in and pull out, and that would switch between the left eye being able to see down here or the left eye being used for the camera. So you could not see in stereo while you were working on things and using the camera, which is not what I wanted. Uh, and the price difference of the microscope that do did that was like an extra $70. And when you're paying so much for one of these things, an extra $70 really isn't that bad. So uh, yeah, I mean, this this is the accumulation of, of Patreon funds and YouTube funds and everything, because 
little side tip here. Uh, when I first signed up for Patreon, I didn't put a credit card or a bank account information in there. So uh, in order to get the funds out of there, it wasn't doing it automatically. So I mean, I've been I've been having a Patreon people since uh, sometime in 2018 or 2019. So it's been there a while. It's been pretty steady. And so there was something like uh, I think I think in in November or December I looked at it. And there was something like 200 or 300 dollars in there. I'm like oh my goodness. So that, that definitely helped with this. I wouldn't be able to do that without you guys. So thank you for all of your support. Greatly appreciate it. So let's switch back to our fancy microscope cam here. And uh, yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're going to try and, if I get the camera here correctly, um, here we go. All right, we're gonna try. And where's the, I must be using the wrong thing here. There we go. Ooh, got some solder on my hand there. That's always fun. Always fun. Uh, the bunny is doing well. She is uh, nibbling on her own again. Not not 100% back. Still on medicine and such. But thank you for asking. She is doing well. Ugh. That's... Ugh. Still so much crud. Still a lot. And uh, this one too. Let me let me actually move the board a little bit. Got 13 people watching. Hello to all of you people. Yeah, ooh, yeah, that. <laughs> that's another one to start on. I mean, it never ends with this board. Never ends. Just try and do some light scraping here just to see if I get some of the, the chunks of this off and then continue. Uh, no, Trina, there were no caps on this board when I got it. So uh, Brandon already, uh, I think he took off the caps uh, or, or somebody he knew took off the caps. And so, um, yeah, I mean, I, this is not at all uh, the fault of him or anything like that. It's just these caps leak and uh, leave all this crud on the board. And um, it's not fun when you have to work on a machine and all of a sudden it's like, oh my goodness. Now, uh, I do have some other boards of his to work on. I don't know if I'll be doing those today or at a later day, but uh, he said it was fine for me to do them on the stream, so I might do that. Uh, one of them is a Macintosh 2. Uh, one of them is a color classic, and one of them is uh, an LC, I think it's a 575. Uh, some of them need a little bit more than recap, some need, uh, or, or little different jobs than recap. Some need uh, some things repaired and looked at. But that's what we'll do. Ugh. And yeah, this solder is not going to stay there because this is all these big blobs and everything. But just trying to clean up all the gunk in that area. Just going to keep on keeping on trying to fix this. And it just shows you the amount of work that goes into this type of stuff. Uh, and sometimes it's very straightforward and there's not really a problem at all. Other times it's like this where, I mean... We have to go through the same few steps again and again, just get marginal improvement there, and uh, eventually get some some satisfaction at the end of the day. But uh, let's see, let's see how we fare with this one today. 
I'm hoping we can make some good progress. Let me zoom out just a little bit. And the fan fell off. Yeah, there we go. See, some of that crud just came right off. Some of it did not. And we have to be very careful because this iron is very hot. And it could easily just rip that pad off. Ah, jeez. Let's hope I didn't break that. So this light adapter for this microscope is not exactly staying on. And it's just it's just loose. So every time I, I nudge it with my soldering iron, it, it falls off. Dana! I to check my phone. You're, you're typing in all caps there. You're, you okay? <laughs> duct tape it that is probably the best solution for that right now <laughs> that, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna contact the uh, the Amscope support people and they're just gonna say you tried duct taping it you just got to sheet that go excellent well, I don't think our mutual friend responded, but uh, I wish you the best on your adventures anyway. And I won't spoil anything, but Dane is out on an adventure. An adventure which, which may be electronics related. And I can't wait for him to uh, show us on his YouTube channel all about his uh, adventure you should you better be taking road videos <laughs> i want i want uh, a uh, dash cam view of you driving sped up to like 16 times he is doing stuff how did you imagine that So for those of you just joining, I have a Macintosh SE30 board uh, that I am trying to get all this gunk off of these solder pads. Easier said than done. We are basically going in a loop of heating the pad up and trying to persuade some of this gunk to come off. All this stuff. Well, that sounds horrible, Dane. I'm sorry you hit... Uh, you hit some traffic. It's horrible when you hit that much traffic and it just adds a significant amount of time to your trip. That's bad. Speaking of bad, this this trace is not having any of it. But uh, I've seen some pictures of what Dana's working on. It's really cool stuff. So if you, uh, whoopsie, that's stuck to the pad now. So if you have not subscribed to his channel yet, I strongly suggest you take a look at that. Nope. <laughs> there was a little bit of solder on my iron there. Let's wait for that to heat up. 
and uh, I can't wait to see what uh, he's going to come up with. Let's try this again. And that still didn't get the cord off. Ah. It was stuck for a little bit. Or as my good friend Ar Arnold would say. I haven't done that in the, in the, on the stream for a while, huh? And, and we watch all the viewers just drop. Because they're like, I don't want to see Steve have a have an attack and just fall on the ground. Yes, safe travels, my friend. <laughs> Soon there will be content. Soon. Soon as in the Macintosh clone video, or... <laughs> I'm making fun of myself now. Scrub dub dub. <laughs> no, I'm okay. <laughs> See, this this stuff actually uh yeah, that's pretty pretty stuck on there. Actually, this this is working pretty well because it's not sharp enough where it's going to damage the board. I'm not gouging it. That's getting some of the crap away. Hey, how about that? Cheap uh, soldering tool packings from uh, an old soldering pencil I have for the win. Most of that crap is getting out of there. Woohoo! It's like a combination of things. It's alcohol, it's flux, it's... Every every trick in the book I'm throwing at this thing. Look at that. Zoom into that here. Try and get that in focus there. Ugh. Um, I don't know if there's something I could substitute for the solder wick. Um, it'll be okay. It, it's stuck in one position. It stuck to the pad for a little bit, but I'm not really worried about that. I was able to get it undone. And I seem to be making some progress here. Yeah, it's disgusting, isn't it? I think most of it's gone. How about that? How about that? Well, that only took like an hour. <laughs> Caked! <laughs> Caked! Yeah, I mean, for, for solder wick, I mean, it's, it's very affordable. Um, I get, uh, what's this one called? This one's called Super Wick No Clean, number 453-NS. Again, that's Super Wick No Clean 453NS. It's a big spool of it. And uh, highly recommend you get some. It has worked wonders for me so far. All right, let's get some of that gunk out of there, and then we'll, we'll try and uh, clean that pad again. No problem. Zombie Geek 33 and what what is your name again? I am terrible with names as I explained at the beginning of this, but uh, I would like to thank you or or, or uh, speak to you with your by your name, nickname Alan. That's right. Thank you, Alan. You're very welcome, Alan. All right. And hey, I have, I have my own usernames too. Jeez, but. Uh, don't worry, I'll forget next stream and I'll ask you again. <laughs> Let now we can zoom out a little bit. You don't have to be that close.
Yeah, now this pad still has some crap on it. I think this is the one I gouged a little bit, yeah. Not too bad, though. I was like, wait a second, that's the wrong pad. All right. No worries, Jay. Enjoy your dinner, enjoy your movie. And Will is back. Hello, Will. I don't think I said hello to you. Ooh, that has some garbage on it. No worries. I know everyone's getting ready for dinner. I just had some, but... No worries, you come back if you want. If not, you catch a replay, or you'll catch the inevitable part three, four, five, six, seven, and eight of this uh, of this anthology of whatever the heck we're doing. <laughs> My goodness. There we go. That's not too bad. Well, I, I really hope you watch Bruce's streams more than I do. His are, are very educational. He explains what he's doing. I just make dumb jokes and poke at things. So, <laughs> so I, I am flattered. Thank you. But, um, yes, I, I'm keeping the microscope. So um, I might have uh, uh, explained things a little poorly. Uh, this is the second microscope I have. Technically, um, it's the second one. Uh, what had happened was I ordered one that wasn't exactly the one I should have, and I ended up having to send it back. Uh, of course, it was free shipping coming here, but boy, these things are heavy. It wasn't free sending it back. But uh, this model here uh, seems to be working out much better. It has the stereoscopic view with the camera, which is what I wanted. And uh, hopefully it will be part of my tool set for years to come. And again, it, it's from, you know, the, the super chats, the uh, super stickers, all that fun stuff, and, and my Patreon. Uh, supporters, everybody, even if it's a dollar a month, I mean, every bit helps. That's that's how I was able to save up for some of these tools. If you you told me last year I was gonna end up getting a microscope of this caliber, I would have been like, ha, that's funny. But I'm also very frugal in uh, my purchases as of late in these crazy times. But I figured, you know what? There's been something I'm going to have to get eventually. And it's going to help me. And eventually, it will pay for itself by the fine folks who send me items like Brandon here to fix up. It's the Hollywood version of the microscope. I guess you could say that, yes. <laughs> There is the infamous Jordan. No, his name is actually Brandon. <laughs> so, 
My friend Brandon here is in the chat. He is the individual who sent me this lovely board to work on. He is also the individual I incorrectly named as Jordan in the previous stream, as I was telling you all earlier. So, thank you, sir, for stopping by. You know, that we've been working on these, these pads right here for a solid hour or so, and now you can actually see them, but they looked like this before. And it was it was just uh, uh, a lot of a lot of uh, going back and forth, just trying. So, my goodness. Oh, sorry, I I was still connected to your headphones there, Nick. Oopsie. That sounds like a you error, though. I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So we still have some gunk on there. These are gonna have to be cleaned next. But uh, Brandon sent me all sorts of cool things. I'm not going to show everything today, probably. Just focus on this board today. But he sent me a Macintosh 2 to fix up for him. And a Color Classic. And I believe it's an LC575 and some other goodies. So there will be another stream on that, of course. Yes, blame YouTube. That's <laughs> it's the trend these days. All the kids are doing it. They can't be wrong. Yeah, I have an LC550. I forget what the other one is. It might also be a 550. I have, I have at least two of those types of machines. You can look at all the, the disgusting traces on this. And this chip is just... Ugh. This poor little serial chip here is just nasty. Yeah, we'll see if we can try and fix those audio issues for you, sir. Ah, yes. I always love hearing what old games people played on their own ma old Macs. So, Sean, you just started a, a trend here. So, who, what other games have you guys played on your old computers? Any, any, even if it's a Windows machine, I don't care. What, what games are you fond of? I'm, I'm personally fond of... Oh, jeez, Rebel Assault. Played that on my, my father's uh, Macintosh 7500, I think. Might have even tried it on the 2CX. Way back in the Oh, Command to Conquer. You know, I haven't really played those games a lot. I played the demos of them. Um, but th those are those are fun. They're fun times. Uh, Unreal Tournament, obviously, is a fun one. A more mature game, but uh, a fun one nonetheless. Submarine sim simulators. That's cool. I, I like those simulators, like the, uh, sorry, just, just focusing on this here. Oh, what's a good one? The Prison Simulator is a fun one. Roller Coaster Tycoon is a fun one. Ah, uh, see, my, my cousin, who's still in, still a big Star Trek fan. Uh, hello, Brian, if you're on the stream. No, he's not, but he'll, he might watch in a few years. <laughs> be like, that's me. Uh, he's a big Star Trek fan. Got me into some of the stuff. And I was always a Star Wars kid growing up. Did not understand Star Trek at all. Didn't want anything to do with it. But uh, uh, he, he gave me some, some Star Trek games a while back to look at. I, I still have to take a look at some of them. It might be fun to play on some old... On a stream or something like that. Elite Force. That sounds fun. There we go. Just like some, like these little bits. I, you know, it's not sure. I could, I could solder a capacitor right over it, but, and look at, look at this trace right next to it. All black. Scrape that away. See if there's any copper under there. There's a little bit. A little bit. But there might be uh let's uh, adjust this here. Ah, uh, mist. I remember mist. I need to I need to adjust this again. There we go. It's a little out of focus for you guys, but I, I need to see exactly what I'm doing, otherwise 
can't work. We have 17 people watching. Hello, and we have we have uh, 18 likes. So thank you for all those guys who like the video here. Hope you're all subscribed to the channel. If you're not, please do so. It's free and helps me out. So thank you, especially to all those who are uh, already subscribed to the channel. And those of you who support me on Patreon, thank you very much. <laughs> and hit that bell. Well, thank you, Sean. I did the same for you, buddy. Sean has done some excellent videos on uh, a Beige G3 desktop that he got that he made into a hot rod. I mean, that thing is really cool. And he's been doing some on a, on a Super Mac Tower, which is also really cool. Oh, thank you, Will. That's very kind. Yeah, no worries, Sean. It, it's uh, it's uh, great to uh, great to see other people that are as crazy as I am, <laughs> tinkering around with these computers and trying to upgrade them and stuff. I mean, it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's addictive, but it's also a lot of fun. I think that one's okay. <laughs> Wolfenstein 3D. Yeah, that's that's a classic. It's a classic. I remember uh, a cousin of mine played it on a PC. I have no idea what the game was. This was around 1995 probably. And I'm like, what is this game? I've never, I never saw like a game like that before. I think it was a first person shooter. Well, I mean, it was, it was like, you know, if you play the game, you know what I mean. Third person shooter. But I've never, I, like, it was my first time like experiencing a game like that. I don't think I played it really. I might, might have sat on his lap and touched the keyboard and, and you know, made some movements for a little bit. But I was like, whoa. Oh yeah, that was that was the the one I watched most recently, Sean. So Sean found this crazy machine on Craigslist, and uh, that was a heck of a find. And that SE30 is, I mean, I'm just jealous because of how much memory you had in there. Very jealous. 128 megabytes. He, the machine was maxed out. Lucky, lucky find there, and it was modded. <laughs> a bunch of mods to it. But it needs a recap. Uh oh. Well, if uh, if you require my services, not saying you can't do it yourself, but if it looks pretty nasty, send me a send me a message. <laughs> Supermarket parking lot. Hey, some of the best Craigslist deals are done in weird places, man. So I'm just trying to clean up what's left on these pads here. There we go. <laughs> Hulk hands. Hulk smash. Well, send me a message, buddy. I will let you know um, what we could do with that. No rush, of course. I know, I know uh, you're knee-deep in videos as well. Yeah, this is going to need some solder mask here, because I, I gouged this with my scalpel. My bad. But this was just covered. It was caked in crap. And got most of that out, so. Yuck. Alright, so these, these pads don't look too bad. And so let's move on to these ones here. Again. Hope you guys aren't bored of looking at these yet, because there's a few more to go through. Yeah, boy. The fun never ends here. The 
very crusty. I guess most of that came off though. That's not bad. Always trying to find where my tool is under the microscope because this one, maybe? yeah, there we go. Ooh, yeah. Some of it just comes off very easily. What system software do you have on that Performa? Maybe it's running out of memory. Maybe there's a big cap on the board. I mean, there's there's so many things that could go wrong with these old machines. Yes, you know what? That, that happens to me too, Trina. I, I watch videos and people, I, people start talking about things. I'm like, oh man, I haven't played this game in forever. And I'll go and pull out a machine or whatever and start tinkering with it. Is that the PowerPC Performa? And then... Um, I will go ahead and uh, and you know start playing some old games or some some fun stuff like that. Yuck. Probably being a little bit more aggressive than I should here, but uh, I would first off update to system 8.1 just because of the stability improvements in that update. That's the first suggestion there. Oopsie. Yep, see, that's that's a problem. I could easily chip away at the underside of the board here. My fault for doing so. Ooh, a Commodore. I have a Commodore. I have to I actually have to test some Commodore um, floppy drives for Greg Thompson of MacYak. I got some from that eways facility. They are still sitting in my uh, my basement here. Oh, a nice MS DOS machine. You know I. We had uh, the Macintosh growing up, but uh, my mom, for her job, needed a PC. And uh, I will never forget my dad unboxing that eMachines machine with this Philips monitor. And just, you know, being the, the Mac guy that he was, diehard Mac fan that he was, we are unboxing that machine, and he just said, this feels so wrong. <laughs> I'll never forget that as long as I live. That's great. Oh, man. Put the flux in the wrong spot. Oh, well. Yeah, some of that stuff, it's like, I don't even, I can't remember, like, some of the stuff we had. It was a, for for some reason, there was a computer we took home at one point. It was like one of those, you take it home as part of a kindergarten class or something. And it was like an 8-bit computer, and you ran that logo program with, like, the turtle that you could, like, move around. You type in a number, and it moves. I forget the name, but maybe it's a logo. I, I can't remember. But uh, I remember that being set up for, like, a weekend or something like that. I don't know why we had that. Probably nobody else in the family remembers but me. Come on, get clean, buddy. Yay! I would say the late 2000s, early 2000s was the Celeron 600 megahertz because I think the Xbox had a higher clocked one in it. 
And that was what, around 99, early 2000, something like that, the first one. Tandy 1000, nice. Uh, the Home Shopping Network, that's cool, Brandon. <laughs> wow, four megs of memory. Oh boy. Yeah, sorry it's so out of focus for you guys. Um, I have to, I have to work out exactly how uh, this this reacts when I'm zooming in and out. So apologies. Uh, you try maybe there maybe the um, I mean, you probably tried this this Nick but it might be maybe the battery on the BIOS uh, on the board is bad and so you're not really progressing uh, that that's a common issue in, on some PCs if it, it, it's supposed to work with the battery and if there's not one there it sort of freaks out doesn't know what to do Duh. I had it all lined up there we go so just using some flux here to uh, get all that solder off that we just put on. And look at those shiny new pads. Look at them. It's a lot better than it did before, I will tell you that. I'll tell you that. Clean and shiny. Very nice. Okay, we can move on. All right, we're making some good progress here, guys. So these don't look too bad. These are all going to need some touch-up here. Don't look too bad. Uh, I think there's, let's see, yeah, there's one over here by the PDS slot. Now that's going to need some attention. Oh, Descent, that's a fun game. Oh boy, all right, well, this is gonna be fun. Yuck. So put some flux down, put a ton of solder on the edge of this tip and just scrub, scrub, scrub. I'll see the bubbles that's cool Woo, bubbles Woo. Yeah, I actually got a IBM uh, PS2 PC from the e-waste place when I got all these Macs too and uh, I have to fix that because there is a uh, there's obviously a uh, some some problems with it and one of the problems is uh, corrosion uh, from the old caps that are on there so it's not just Macs that have this no 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 a lot of machines have this problem too looking a little better getting better all the time can't get much worse that's that's what everyone tuned in here for for to hear me butcher the Beatles. <laughs> yes, this is still going on. Save yourself from the madness.
Oh yeah, that's that's <laughs> that is uh, eaten away into the board there. Let's take a closer look at that. Ooh. Yeah, that's going to need some UV solder mask because that, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, the board right there. That's under the solder mask there. So that's going to need some cleaning. <laughs> surprise, I'm still here. <laughs> I hope that's a good surprise. I hope it's not, oh god, this guy's here again. Yuck, yuck. Look at all this. Yuck. My goodness, this is a this is a disgusting area. Oof. But look, there is some shininess under it. There's hope still. get uh, our friend the soldering iron here. I'm running out of, of flux too. I need to have some more of that ordered. go get that crud off bye bye <laughs> there's still hope a new hope hello the lord of nothing how you doing? Glad you tuned in. Oh yeah, there's a, a lot of solder there. Let's get our let's get our wick and get all that crap off there. We can do a better job than that. Let me clip the uh, used part of wick off here because we don't need that right now. I'm so zoomed in, I nudge something, and it's like, oh, I can't see it anymore. If I can't see it, I know you can't see it. Oh, and a tool is about to fall off the table. Why can't I get this wick to stay put? Come on.
sometimes just putting some fresh solder in there and, and yeah, get some of that crud off of there. Well, hello to the 19 people who are watching. We are trying to fix up a Macintosh SE30 board here. We're having some okay luck so far. Could be much worse. Twenty. <laughs> Before it just crashed again. It might not. It might have a, like a weird extension loaded or something. I don't know. Did you do a fresh install of the OS, or is that uh, just whatever it came with? Right, so let's zoom in a little bit more so I can see what I could clean off here. Oh, there we go. Sometimes it's not necessarily crud, it's just the way it's reflected on the pad. I mean, sometimes it is. Probably have to be uh, giving some solder mask on there too, because it's all... At least, at least that's making a connection there. Uh, some of those machines, they reboot themselves because uh, 8 requires an enabler or something like that. So it'll go to the Happy Mac, then all of a sudden it'll just reboot instantly. And that's fine as long as the machine eventually starts up, but it sounds like maybe yours is not doing that. I'm just cleaning up around these pads. Pretty nasty, but uh Eep <laughs> Alright, not too bad. Could be worse. Could be worse. Alright, so let's see what other pads we gotta look at now. Alright, so those were all the ones by the power connector. Uh, those aren't too bad either. They could use a bit of cleaning. Let's clean those now. These are by uh, where one of the axial capacitors are, which we, we have to put back on the board. We have to put a new one there. This is going to have a long bath in the ultrasonic cleaner, I'll tell you that. Jeez. Yeah, there's still one little spot on there. Let's see if we get that off. Is that what you sent me, a Brandon, a 2VX, or did you just send me a 2? I think you sent me a 2. A 2FX. I have a I have a Centra 650. <laughs> I don't have a 2FX. A 2. Okay, that's what I thought. Oh, I see. I see the message now. Lord of Nothing picked up a 2FX. Nice. Have fun with that. Yeah, you're going to recap it. That's sweet. 
Lucky, lucky, lucky. Very nice find. Helps if you read the entire chat, not just skim through it with one eye while the other eye is in the microscope. Light fell off the microscope again. You take Dana's suggestion of just using duct tape. Okay, so that is not too bad. We do have some solder that's splashed into this area that I will I will clean off the board. I'm not gonna do it on camera because it's easier for me to just do it over here. Okay, we have one, two, I think only two, maybe two pads to go, two, two cap areas to go. Sweet, they can progress. My neck is killing me though from looking at this, uh, <laughs> this thing in the position I'm in right now. Ugh. Hopefully we don't have to take another break. I'm going to keep on trying here. Yeah. Ew! <laughs> Looks like one of my bunnies was uh, sitting on it. <laughs> Ew, I mean, eep. Ow. Yeah, get all that crud out of there. We don't want you here. Get off of my board. <laughs> no worries. I had to eat during my own stream just before, so. It's okay. As human beings, we have to eat. Otherwise, your body stops working. That's not fun. Yeah, no worries, man. You can catch up later. All right, let's see. Yeah, it's looking a little gnarly. Let me uh, focus this again. Again, apologies if you're a little out of focus. I gotta adjust this a little bit better next time before I stream. Kind of stuck on there. <laughs> Running out of the Q tips I bought. That was 375. I have another package, but this first package is almost out.
nice and clean. Except for those two spots, there and there. Gotta clean those. Scalpel. Check. All right, thankfully that was that one wasn't too bad. But let's look at the veer here. Ew. <laughs> it's uh, uh, not a lot left there. see that uh, some of the metal on this side this is just rotted away there used to be this circle used to be complete and uh, again you can't see that with the human eye you, it looks fine but with some magnification here it's a little easier to see this crap now that is probably still making a bit of a connection there Uh, this side looks okay-ish, maybe? I'll have, to, I'll have to test that and make sure that it's actually uh, making continuity where it should. But that is nasty, I will say. Yeah, there's still some copper on the left side of there. Uh, and there should there should be uh, copper down here too, because this veer goes through the board. But yeah, it's disgusting. All right, so that pad is pretty much cleaned up, I'd say. Now we're on. I think this is the last one. Let me double check here. Yeah, this is this is the last. Uh, the last pad. How about that? And it looks just like the rest of them. <laughs> oh boy. Worry, Sean. Yeah, I'm not gonna stick around too much longer. I've been going for two hours if you don't include the break there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and clean this up. We'll we'll see if, how much progress we can get on this. Maybe I could boot it up. Who knows? I still have to put that axial in, and sometimes those fight with me, so I can't I can't do that as quickly as I can the other ones. But I think putting the caps on it'll be a a different uh, a different stream. But we'll, we'll see. Oh, look at all this crud. Yeah, get out of there. Nobody wants you here. Go home.
Yuck. This is going to take a few passes. I actually have a, a DOS card for my uh, 610 machine, but uh, I haven't uh, really played around with it yet. It's one of those things that's it's on a list of uh, video to do, I just have not gotten around to it. Probably after I finish all the clone stuff there. Try and clean this. Of course, it's a, it's the last one on the board, so it's going to give me all the trouble at once. There we go. Some of it's breaking up there. Just a little bit. go yes be gone from this board oh look at all that cyberdog was a web browser that Apple made that's what cyberdog is Nick whoopsie Gunk doesn't even want to be uh, cleaned up. Jeez. Like as soon as I, I evicted it from its home, it just stuck to everything else. It's sticky crap, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to use it with modern websites at all, but you are welcome to try. It is uh, 
only developed for a very short period of time. Okay, so we are on the last pad here. I'm just trying to clean this up. That one cleaned up nice. And this one needs some scraping. Now let me just do, allow me to do a uh, impromptu poll here. How many of you come to my videos because you see a notification on YouTube? And how many of you come here because you see a notification on either Discord or Twitter or, or social media? How, how do you know when I'm streaming? Because I've, I've heard from people that YouTube's notifications are not as uh, working as they should be. <laughs> I'm just curious. The impromptu poll. We don't. Oh, it's you again. This troublemaker here. You're trying to steal my last name, aren't you? Well. Yeah, I wish I could control the notifications, but I can't. They either work or they don't. Your uh, neighbor there, Andrew, is trying to call me. I am not going to pick up. <laughs> a little busy hopefully it's not urgent <laughs> that's a good that's a good method of uh, alerting you that's a manual notification those, those are expensive these days let's zoom in magnification see if that is broken if that needs some repair there scrape away all that crud that looks okay all right, so I'm out of Q-tips. The whole box is gone, gone. Well, next, chicken next. All right. Clean, clean, clean. Let's clean the whole area there. That actually doesn't look half bad. So we just have to be careful when we put a capacitor on there because there's some junk there. Now, oh boy, yeah, Uncle Monster is a long story. <laughs> it's, it's There's good intentions in it, I assure you. I'm not some horrible person. The abbreviated version of that is... I pretended to be a monster and made monster noises while playing with my niece and nephew years ago. And now they call me Uncle Monster. The name has stuck. Uncle Steve has a nice ring to it, but no, they prefer Uncle Monster. <laughs> And how? <laughs> okay, so this is. 
Yeah, so this this computer had quite a lot going on with it. So I'm not, I'm actually not even going to put the capacitors on here. Uh, what I have to do is put a lot of solder mask in some areas and let that that cure in the sunlight. Uh, and I have to wait till morning because it's dark out. It's Eight o'clock in in the evening here. So I don't even want to put some caps on here and. Uh, I should probably put this in the cleaner to give it a cleaning before I even do anything else because this is a uh, pretty nasty looking. Uh, you know, I wouldn't mind being called. Well, let's not let's not give them ideas of what to call me. But. <laughs> oh boy, yes, especially because that scanner does not uh, work with the current version. Her her good scanner doesn't work with the current version of OS 10. And, uh, yeah. I don't even think it works with, uh, no, it works with Intel computers, I think. It needs an older version of OS X. I'm sure it'll be a long and entertaining call. Why don't you field that one? Or have, uh, have your son field it for me. Good old outsourcing. All right, so to sum up here, what we've done is we've made all these pads clean. Yay! And we will be putting capacitors on them sometime in the near future. I am just uh, inspecting some of these traces here that are nasty. And we'll work on this for a little bit, then I'll, I'll probably uh, take a break. No hablan inglés, señor. Yuck. Look how nasty they look up close. We're going to clean them. Look at all that gunk coming off. Yuck. Scrapey, scrapey. <laughs> I, I know very little of that language, so that would be of no use to anybody. It's just as good as my Italian and my Japanese. Sumimasen. <laughs> I'm not a robot, I swear. Yeah, see, the problem with letting these traces sit like that is that that black stuff is all corrosion there. And uh, if we leave that, it's just going to eat away more. I'm a monster! A monster! Ha ha ha! Something like that. Uh, yes, I do have a, an Apple Star Writer 2. No idea what I'm going to do with it, but I have it. It's sitting, sitting on the shelf. I had one for a while and gave it to a friend of mine. Uh, and I think he still has that one. I, I message him on Facebook every once in a while and say, Hey, you know that old Apple stuff I gave you? You find it. I'll, I'll, I'll pay for it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, I'm not a robot, I'm a monster. Get your fictional versions of me right.
And this scalpel is pretty dull too because I've been using it for a while, so it's not helping me. Let me let me switch to the other one I have here. I mean, this one might actually be duller for all I know. This has a smaller tip. It seems to be just scraping away the solder mask. Oopsie. I like hanging out with you guys too. Thank you. Thank you for giving me company. I'd just be doing this alone, talking to myself. And that would look very strange. stuff is disgusting. Oh, that's good. This is going to be a lot of work. <laughs> oh, boy. Might as well just cover this whole board in liquid solder mask. <laughs> just call it a day. And I told you not to turn around. But once again, thank you, Brandon, for sending me this board. I hope I could get it working, because then I'll have a Macintosh SE30 in my collection. A working one. Okay, it looks like we actually have a break there. Wouldn't surprise me. So let's do a test. Yes, I, I am excited to look at that stuff as well. Let's uh, zoom out here. Let's get my multimeter, or what I like to call it, the beep 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 machine. Because it makes noises and it goes beepity beep beep. Turn that on. Let's see if we get any continuity between here and here. Nope. That's a break there. It's not touching. If I go down here, it's fine. But not over here. Yeah, so we have a break that we all have to fix. Might be one there too. That 
one's good. That one's good. I mean, that, this one's just all dirty, but let's see if we can clean that up a little bit. Let's test those again. All right, so there is a break over here, it seems, because it's okay here, but not here. And where does that go to? That goes to yeah, no, so we're going to need to fix that trace there. I knew it wasn't going to be just as easy as a recap. That would have been too easy for us. Oh, yes. I'm sure I'll be getting a call from you then soon. <laughs> I'll be done with this in a little bit, so I'll be available if needed. Enjoy. And my eyes are like twitching out too because I've been like focusing on this too long. Yeah, look at all that crud that was where that trace is. Yeah, that's just that's just missing. <laughs> Oopsie. That's why you can't let this corrosion just sit on the board because it, it will eat away at the trace, and then there's no more connection there. I mean, this this board has no shortage of that going on. That's interesting. I don't think that computer has ever frozen since we've installed it years ago, but that's good to know. It's the same way you've restarted or shut down a frozen Mac since, jeez, since, ooh, 2000, no, 98, <laughs> 97, you hold down the power button. Thank you. We're doing okay, Jay. A uh, bunch of traces here, but all, all the pads look all pretty and shiny. So all the pads are good, pretty much. Um, not repairing the traces not, right now. We're just getting all the gunk out of them. I uh, won't we'll have to repair them another time, I think. Because uh, this one right here has a break, and this one right here has a break as well. Probably would not be a bad idea to actually just put this board in the ultrasonic cleaner before I finish it. Because <laughs> there's just so much junk on here, it would probably make it a lot easier for me to clean and work on. No worries, Brandon. See you later. Yeah, I'm not going to stick around too much longer. Almost being uh, three hours in a row here so I might come back this evening or tomorrow uh, like I said this board is gonna be a while <laughs> yes at least two ultrasonic cleanings are in this board's future
other scalpel. I need to order more scalpels because these are getting a little dull. It's just a never-ending process of ordering supplies with this stuff. I need more flux. I need more scalpels. I need more capacitors. I need more cookies. <laughs> a spa day for the uh, the computer. How come the computer gets it? No, I don't. Yep, you can see the brakes there. Doing the best I can, just get all this junk off of here. Those legs are green! Yuck. I look around, I'm like, oh, that's not too bad. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> it's hard to get to some of these areas. There we go. Alright, at least that looks like it's making a connection there. So, what else can I do today? Good night, Trina. Take care. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna stick around much longer. It's it's almost nine. Well, it's getting to past eight thirty, let's say. But uh, yeah, I have some trace repairs we have to do here. And uh, some solder mask I have to apply so I'll probably revisit this board in the morning because then I could just uh, clean that up put that on and put it out in the Sun for five minutes and it will be done uh, and then we can put some caps on it because I think we got all the the uh, spots here let's look at uh, my little recapping guide here binder of stuff here. Here is the recapping guide provided by the one and only Brankus Creations, Bruce. And let's see. Uh, one there. Let's turn the board. Alright. And Jay, if you're still here, you could put Bruce's website in the chat if you feel so inclined to do so. But he prints out a uh, Jay. Uh, uh, Jay. Um, Bruce makes these wonderful little diagrams on his website, recapamac.com.
remakecappermac.au.com, or you can just go to remakecappermac.com is the other address. And what's nice about them, it tells you exactly where the capacitors are and what their values are, etc. So I can look at this and I could say, there's the one cap there that we removed. There's the one there. Um, there's one, I don't have, oh yeah, there, three there, one there, one there, four there, and one there. So we've taken all those pads and we've cleaned them up pretty well, which is good. And uh, so the next step will be continuing to clean up those traces and to uh, make sure we can repair those and then put some UV solder mask on them. So, what do you guys think? Looking pretty good, huh? So, fun times. Oh, let me uh, just use my mouse over here. But, uh, yep. So, I think, I think I'm going to uh, pause it here. Because there's not too much I could do to this board in the dark. Uh, until I get a, a fancy solution to cure that UV solder mask stuff in the house. Uh, I just use the big old star in the sky. So, that's going to be about it. Uh, there are some other things we need to do to this board, obviously, in the future. We need to keep cleaning it. So I'm going to probably do those trace repairs and put in the ultrasonic cleaner for the first time. Uh, then I'm going to put the caps on. And then we'll clean it a second time. So this this will require uh, at least another stream. But I am, I am happy that in the uh, almost, let's say, five hours I put into this board, um, it's, it's looking much better. I mean, I'm excited. I'm very excited. So I think that's going to be about it. But uh, I appreciate everybody stopping by. Thank you for giving me a break to have dinner. That was cool. <laughs> and, um, yeah, if you're not subscribed, please do that. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The handle is at Mac84TV. And uh, I guess I'll catch you next time. But thank you, everybody, for watching. And uh, have a good evening. Have, uh, where, where's my cursor? I can't even say goodbye because my cursor's all over the screen. There we go. Uh, have a good evening. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Take care.